Do you want to know why your car hates cold mornings? Here's why. We're going to go ahead and get started with Michael. We're going to give him the first question on why your car hates cold mornings. Let's do it. Give me one reason on why your car hates cold mornings. It's a diesel, so it's thick. Thick fluids. Warms up slow. Got to drive it to get heat out the vents. Pretty miserable. Why does your car hate cold mornings? Because you don't let it warm up. Well, why? Because metal does not like cold metal against cold metal does not like that. You want the heat inside the engine so that you have that viscosity and the oil to actually protect against the metal rubbing against each other. So lubrication is important. Uh, of course, lubrication is important. All right, let's move on to the next one. Hey, now we're gonna move on over to the next one. Now, Nolan, give me one reason why your car hates cold winters. Seat warmers take longer to heat up. Seat warmers take longer to heat up. Okay. <laughs> one reason why a vehicle would hate cold mornings. Well, the battery alone, it's a more stress on the battery, uh, just starting the car up. And, you know, everything's, all the fluids are thicker. Everything's, your, uh, the expansion from the cold air, uh, or I guess the constriction, really. Uh, it just causes havoc on everything. And all your bushings in the car, they're cold. Just like your joints get cold when you're outside all night. You know, and someone says, hey, hurry up and get up and run. It, it's, you know, that's basically what you're having your car do. So a little bit of warm up period is good for a car. Um, I, you know, not a crazy, I always let mine run five, 10 minutes, just kind of help wake up a little bit in those mornings, when especially a little bit colder. And uh, plus you get that warm air when you get in the car too, but that does help a car. Okay, you heard it here. Um, you got to warm up to get out of bed. Cars got to warm up to get and go.